Hey folks, I got an email question from uh, Larry, and uh, sometimes it's easier just to uh, respond with a video, even though it probably takes me twice as long as just typing out an answer, but this way other folks can also uh, get the answer if they're needing it. So his question was, which app should I use to break down a long audio file with many songs into separate addressable songs? So like you have maybe you recorded a radio program of uh, two hours of music that's purely legal and all yours to grab, of course, because nobody copies things illegally on the internet. Uh, and then you want to break it apart into individual tracks, maybe to play in your iPod or does anybody have iPods anymore? iPhone, whatever. Um, and rather than manually cutting it up each t each file, each separate audio clip, you want it to automatically spit out a bunch of songs. He said he's used Audacity and Final Cut Pro to break apart long files, but it's cumbersome and tire time consuming. I bet you'd have a better idea, perhaps using a Rogue Amoeba app. And so, yes, there definitely is a way to do it with a Rogue Amoeba app. There just so happens to be. The one thing I'll say before this is there's plenty of different ways to do this. This is just one particular way. You don't have to buy Fission. I'm sure you can uh, use Audacity and to do it in other automated ways, slightly more automated ways possibly. And this might not even be faster than what you're doing right now, Larry. So hopefully this helps. But if not, and you have a better solution for this, feel free to leave a comment below with uh, your tip. So just so I don't get in trouble with any sort of copyright stuff with YouTube and other folks, I just basically took a audio file uh, that I have of a podcast theme for a podcast that I used to help out with. Oh, I still help out with it, but um, just a uh, podcast theme for a YouTube podcast. And so you can see I just repeated the same audio file a bunch of times. Obviously, this wouldn't be exactly what you're doing, um, you know, if you have a separate, like, record an audio program. But you can see there's, like, different lengths between each one maybe there isn't as much time or space between each one you can definitely see where uh the each song starts and ends so it wouldn't be too difficult to go in and manually crop it out and things like that uh, but just to save yourself some time with fission which isn't the, all that expensive an app to buy if you don't have it already but if you go into, up into tools and smart split you can see they've got a basically some presets here where the, it's going to search for silence so a length of two seconds and then a sensitivity of when it goes, the volume goes below uh, minus 30 dB. And so they've got presets for analog or digital where it's slightly less uh, sensitive and doesn't find as many splits. You can see with digital, the digital preset, because it's, it's assuming more stuff is actually wanting to be included. So I found as I look at the smart split, it shows you here. Uh, there's a split there. Actually, in the track view up here is probably easiest to see, but split there, 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 there. But it doesn't catch this one here. Um, and so you can see even on the digital version, it doesn't catch any of these last few just because of the, the timing and the, and the loudness. So what I would do in this case, because I can visually, I can see it, is I would just dial down the length of time. And then you can see at 1.6 seconds, boom, it adds that extra split that I know needs to be there. And so then I can just hit insert splits. Now I believe you could go in here right away if you wanted to do it here and rename these so that the files would come out with their names, uh, proper names intact. So let's say this was the second song, title for a third song. If you want to put the artist, doesn't matter necessarily here for what depends on your purposes and what you want to do. You can drag artwork in, etc. cetera, uh, fourth song. Anyways, you get the idea. So then I go up to file and save. And now it's going to save, uh, as you can see, it's going to save them all out as the MP3 files. And I'm just going to put them back into the same folder I got them from. Save that. Go to my desktop. Into this subfolder. And then you can see there I've got with a bit of silence on each end. All six or more. What did I get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Eight of them. Separate it out just like that. So like I said, you can play with in the smart split settings here. There's presets, but obviously you can figure out what works for you just in terms of the length and or the sensitivity. So it's, if it's volume related where maybe you've got really loud music and then there's like talking like a radio DJ voice or whatever guy in the middle and you want to cut that part out, you can dial down uh, the sensitivity or dial up the sensitivity as the case may be and that'll help differentiate the different clips from each other because uh, in that case if it's continuous radio uh, there isn't going to be much silence probably in there so it won't this won't really help you too much but the sensitivity may help in terms of finding the the gaps or the where you want the gaps to actually be hope that helps leave me a comment below if you have further questions about this
Fission is available, of course, from Rogue Amoeba. You can visit their website at rogueamoeba.com slash fission. Try it out for free and then, of course, purchase it. There's other stuff it can do, uh, which I've used it for, where it has a lossless MP3 editor. So if you ed normally, if you edit an MP3 file, audio file in an editor and then export it out as an mp3 again it'll lose quality and uh, lose some of the quality of the audio file but, but fission has some magic coding in it that allows it to basically not lose any quality when you edit an mp3 so if you have like a massive podcast file that you've edited let's say and you just forgot to chop off the last little bit and you don't want to go back and re-export it all you can just open it up quickly in fission it opens much quicker than Logic or, or Adobe Audition, let's say, and uh, quickly chop off the end, let's say. Or maybe you just need to grab one section of the audio file for a sponsor read or something like that that you want to send off to somebody or a test. And you could quickly do that inside of Fission as well and export just that section rather than firing up again Logic Pro or whatever, which sometimes takes minutes to load. Fission takes seconds. And as always, I work, my business is lemonproductions.ca. You can find me there slash contact. That's how Larry did, I think. Um, and... Let me know if you have questions about anything related to the YouTube channel and YouTube videos or podcasting in general. And if you want to, you can also just hire me for a consulting call and uh, we can chat for an hour over Zoom or Google Hangouts or whatever and uh, answer some. I can help answer some of your questions and maybe show you some stuff and help you get unstuck if you're getting stuck with podcasting audio related stuff. Thanks for watching. See you next time.